Hello everybody. In today's lesson, lesson 3.9, using equations to represent problems, we're on page 153 of the second grade gold math textbook. And our essential question is, how are number sentences used to show addition and subtraction situations? So write a story problem that could be solved using this bar model. Okay, so let's first look at the problem. So we know that this box and this box combined has to have a total of 15. Well, now one box is missing, right? So there's two different ways. We could have an addition problem or we could write a subtraction problem. Since the number is missing, I'm going to go ahead and write it so that it's a subtraction problem. And I'm going to say something like this. Thomas... checked out 15 books from the library. Okay, so that represents the total here, right? He has read nine of the books. How many more books does he have to read? Okay. So there's obviously multiple uh, examples that you could use as your word problem for this, but this is what my word problem would look like. 15 minus 9 equals something. Well, 15 minus 9 equals 6. So 6 more books. 3. Okay. All right, so let's look at page 154. So keep in mind that a number sentence can be used to show a problem. Let's look at this problem. There were some girls and four boys at the park. There were nine children in all. How many girls are at the park? So some number of girls plus the four boys equals nine children in all. So that number sentence represents this word problem. We could draw a bar model to represent this, okay, so we know that the boys plus the girls has to equal nine, okay? So could I also say nine minus four equals something? Yeah, it's the same thing. We would still get the missing number five, okay? All right, so write a number sentence for the problem. Use a box for the missing number. So remember that the box is just simply a placeholder for a missing number. Okay, so there were 14 ants on the sidewalk. Then six ants went into the grass. How many ants were still on the sidewalk? How many ants were still on the sidewalk? So we had 14 total ants, right? Six ants went into the grass. How many more ants are on still on the sidewalk? Well, we could say 14 minus 6 equals what? Okay, remember, it says use the box to represent the missing number. So my missing number is 14 minus 6 equals what? Okay, so... What would I have to subtract from 14 to get a 10? Now we've been practicing this. So to subtract from 14, we would subtract 4. 14 take away 4 is 10, and 10 minus 2 is 8. So the box equals 8, so 8 amps. Number 2. There were seven big dogs and four little dogs at the park. 
how many dogs were at the park. So we had seven big dogs and four little dogs, right? How many dogs were at the park? So we know that these two, big dogs plus little dogs, will tell me how many dogs were at the park total. So my number sentence is an addition problem. Seven plus four equals something. Well, I know that seven plus three is 10. And four is just one more than three. So seven plus three plus one more is 11. So there are 11 dogs at the park. Now let's forget 155. Write a number sentence for the problem and use a box for the missing number, then solve. A group of children were flying 13 kites. Some kites were put away. Some kites were put away. Then the children were flying seven kites. How many kites were put away? Okay, so we know combined. The number of kites put away and the number of kites flying has to equal 13. So there's seven kites flying. How many kites were put away? Well, I can do subtraction, right? So 13 minus 7 equals something. Well, I know 7 plus 7 is 14, right? So it's not 7, it's 6. Because 7 plus 6 is 13. So there were 6 kites that were put away. All right, number 4. There are 18 boys at the field. 9 of the boys are playing soccer. How many boys are not playing soccer? Underline the question. We have a total of 18 boys. And 9 are playing soccer are playing soccer. All right, so. So the number of boys playing soccer plus the number of boys not playing soccer will equal 18. So we know that there are nine boys playing soccer and the rest are not playing. Okay, so I can have a number sentence, 18 minus nine equals some unknown number. Well, I know from our double facts that 9 plus 9 is 18. So there's 9 boys not playing soccer. Use reasoning. Matthew found 9 acorns. Greg found 6 acorns. How many acorns did the two boys find? So Matthew found nine, Greg fell, found six. Right? Matthew found nine, Greg found six. So combined, they equal what? So that's addition. Nine plus six equals what? Well, I know nine and one more is 10, and 10 and 5 is 15. So the two boys found 15 acorns. Okay, number six, there were some ducks in a pond. Four more ducks joined them. Then there were 12 ducks in the pond. How many ducks were in the pond first, at first? So we have this number set, this bar model. We have four ducks joining the number of ducks that were already in the pond. So the number of ducks already in the pond 
plus four more has to give me 12. So 12 minus four equals what? Well, how much do I have to subtract from 12 to get a 10? I'd have to subtract two, right? 12 take away two is 10, and two plus two is four, so 10 minus two is eight. So eight done. We're already in the pond. All right, 156. Read this story and write or draw to solve, to show how you solve the problems. At camp, five children are playing games, and four children are making crafts, and five other children are having a snack. How many children are at camp? Well, five playing games, four making crafts, five having a snack. Well, that's five and four and six, right? Five children playing games, four making crafts, and oops, and five other children having a snack. But remember, it doesn't matter how I group the add-ins. I'm going to group the two fives because that makes a ten. And ten and four is fourteen. All right, now suppose seven more children arrive at camp and join the children playing games. How many more children are playing games than children not playing games? Okay. So we need to figure out how many are playing games first off. Well, we had five and we're going to have seven more. Okay, where did I get these numbers from? Okay. Five children were already playing games. Now seven more children arrive at camp and they join the children playing games. So seven and five more. Well, I know seven plus, no, I'm sorry, five plus five is 10 and two more would be 12. All right, so we have 12 children playing games. The question was how many more children are playing games than children not playing games? All right, well, how many children are not playing games? The four children that are making crafts are not playing games, and the five children having snacks are not playing games. All right, so what do we have? How much is this missing piece, right? How much more is this than... The ones not playing games. So what is five and four? Five and four is nine, right? So we have children playing games minus the nine that are not will tell us that there are three more children playing games than not playing games. And number nine, Ashley had nine crayons. She gave four crayons to her brother. How many crayons does Ashley have now? Write a number sentence for the problem and use a square for the missing number and solve. Okay, so we know she has nine crayons, had nine crayons. She gave four crayons to her brother. That means she no longer has those, right? How many crayons does she have now? So I'm going to use a bar model just to represent this. And so I know that she had nine. She gave four crayons to her brother. We have to figure out how many she still has. Okay, so that's a subtraction problem. Nine minus four equals what? Four plus what is nine? Five. All right, so that's it for representing or using equations to represent problems. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.